Well, the 45 page indictment includes multiple mentions of Michigan. That's right. Seven Action News reporter Kira Hay is joining us live from downtown Detroit to break it all down for us this morning. Kira. Yeah, Michigan was mentioned all throughout that 45 page indictment, especially the incident that happened here at the Huntington Place, which at the time was a TFC center. I know many of us remember the global controversy of allegations that someone was bringing in ballots overnight while people were counting votes. Well, it turned out that they were not ballots. They were that was actually camera equipment being carried in by a seven action news photojournalist. But despite that fact, President Trump continued to allege that Detroit was corrupt. Former President Donald Trump's third indictment unsealed with federal prosecutors formally accusing Mr. Trump of three counts of conspiracy and obstruction linked to the 2020 presidential election. Well, this one is extremely serious. Local political analyst Mario Mero breaking down the 45 page indictment, which shows strong ties to Michigan and its elected officials. Like on November 5th in 2020, Mr. Trump making public claims of suspicious overnight ballot dumps in Detroit at the TCF Center. The alleged ballots, camera equipment being carried by a seven action news photographer. People don't get indicted for lying. You get indicted for going forward and trying to change the course of a legally productive election. And that is what federal prosecutors are alleging happened two weeks later when Mr. Trump invited Michigan Republican leaders to the White House, where he once again made claims of ballot dumping. Michigan Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky and Speaker of the House Lee Chatfield also allegedly pressured by co-conspirators to pass a joint resolution stating the election was in dispute. What we went through in Michigan really was an attempt to set the tone for what would be attempted in other states. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson on CNN reacting to the indictment, which alleges Mr. Trump knew his claims of election fraud were false. As more evidence built showing that those results were accurate, the attempts to overturn those results escalated and became more vitriolic and more potentially violent, of course, leading into the tragedy of January 6th. Again, President, former President Donald Trump is being indicted on four federal felony charges, unprecedented here in America. So we will continue to follow this story. Live in Detroit, I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. That's right.